Tony Stewart has spread the lead by one and four tenth seconds. You know the story. He's won two races in a row now in NASCAR Winston Cup competition. Trying to make the three-peat. Here comes Jeffrey Bodine. Now, he had not pitted in this most recent uh, sequence. So he will come in with the power team entry at lap number 176. And the crew going to work. You know that Jeffrey Bodine ran a USAC stock car race here years ago in a Dodge Challenger. Blew the engine that day, but he's been here a while. Yeah, and they're putting ether in that car. It was out of fuel when he came in. They were shooting ether into the back of the air cleaner there to get the car cranked. Meanwhile, out on the racetrack, Kevin LePage missing some sheet metal, Dick Berggren, but running nevertheless. I know where the sheet metal is, Eli. Here it is. Kevin LePage ran a couple of laps with this thing just dangling off the back end of his race car. Really scared a lot of the mechanics on pit road and went running over to NASCAR. He said, black flag him. They did. Kevin came in. Mechanic pulled on this, and now it's going to be some race fans souvenir in a den somewhere. I bet it will be. Remember that day when Junior Johnson at Dover grabbed the old bumper off the car and just yanked it with his bare hands? Yeah, and he could do that if yes, it was hooked could. on. Indeed so. <laughs> there you see second and third having swapped around. The uh, pass taking place just seconds ago as Mayfield beat Rusty Wallace going into turn number one and grabbed the position. We're just 24 laps from the finish. Tony Stewart's pulled away by two and two tenths now from those two machines. They need to hook up and, and really draft to try to catch up with Tony Stewart because he is stretching, as you said, Eli. And just behind them, uh, Jared is moving up now. Tony Stewart, really remarkable, did not even lead a race this year until Richmond, when he led 69 laps, led two laps at Charlotte, and of course, last time out, last couple of races at the Dover, led 242 of the 400 laps. And then, as we know, at the Kmart 400 last week, led 13 laps, 26 miles. Then the rain came. Not a great number of laps led today, but if you need the right one, it doesn't matter. Eli, they changed, and they have yeah, a brand new tire that they're running now. It's a little more stagger built into the tire itself, which means the left side's a little bit smaller than the right side, giving it more stagger. And what it, what's happened there is all the uh, notes that they had from last year are basically no good. So uh, there, a lot of people were searching, and I think Tony Stewart and, and all the guys finally worked it out, and they've got the car handling the way it should again. They call it new we generation. We had mentioned it a few moments ago. We had a swap for second spot going off into the corner. Jeremy Mayfield and Rusty Wallace. Here's how that looked. It looked easy. Yeah, Rusty just drifted up. And Mayfield had second. And Glenn, Rusty's fallen off the pace just a little bit now. Yeah, Eli, his lap times have really slowed considerably compared to the other guys in the top five right now. In fact, he is the slowest running car in the top five. Actually, all the way down to about uh, eight. The problem is the car has gotten tight on this particular set of tires. And uh, it just, for some reason, just doesn't like this set. Car is very, very tight, particularly off of turn three uh, and over in the tunnel turn. So Rusty having a handful right now. Dale Jarrett is running well. He's in fourth. Yeah, and he's catching Rusty pretty quickly now. Twenty-one laps from the finish. As we ride with Dale Jarrett on the main straightaway. Going down into turn one, he'll shift back again and really head down that back straightaway. That's all the times that they uh, shift around the racetrack in that particular car. There comes Jarrett back out of the corner. See Scott Pruitt of the Tide car giving the contenders all the track room they need. Let's see, where will he make the pass, do you think? In turn, in or off of turn three? Well, you can see that the car is handling much better right now. Rusty, uh, so he can put his hand up. He knows that he has a much quicker car. I would say somewhere about right now, he'll look for the bottom part of the racetrack and motor right up the side of him. They come down the front straightaway. 
And while this is unfolding on the racetrack, Johnny Benson has just gone to the garage area. What a heartbreaker for the Lycos team, as well as they've been running all day long. Twelve is Mayfield. He is 2.9 seconds behind Tony Stewart. And now Jimmy Spencer going to the garage also. So all of a sudden, after a limited attrition rate for much of the day, we have seen Bill Elliott, Johnny Benson, and Jimmy Spencer go to the garage here in the last few moments. And Rusty continues to follow, fall back. Uh, Dale Jarrett passed him just a lap ago, and he's already put about 10 car lengths on him. We are at Pocono International Raceway on a Monday, waiting to see if Tony Stewart can three-peat in Winston Cup racing. Well, that was a full-bodied sedan just a short while ago. Now it looks more like a mid-size at best. Gremlin. Yep. A lot of gremlins getting to that race car here today as they went up into the wall in turn number one. Mike Bliss bringing out caution for the fifth time at lap 182, the end of the incident. You see he already goes shooting up into the wall. Earnhardt just does get by yep. on the outside there. A few moments prior to that, Brett Bodine, who had led here just a while ago, had engine failure, and you see he's not even been able to make it on around, though he is. So I'm waving to the uh, record driver. But uh, Brett did not bring out the caution. The uh, incident happened uh, unrelated to that. So caution is out for the fifth time. Lap 182 in that nice 2.9 second lead that Tony Stewart had has gone bye-bye. Now, they act like they're coming in. Let's see who's lying and who's coming. They're all, coming, they're all in. coming in. These stops will be at lap 184. Lap 184. Let's see what the leaders do. Glenn? And Tony Stewart brings the Pontiac in. I have not been able to tell. I just got into their pits, and I don't think they're going to make any adjustments on the car. When this thing is on, you know, oh, they're only doing two tires. Right side, Tony Stewart. He stalled it just a little. He's down and away. Two tires stop for him, Dick. Jeremy Mayfield, also a two tire start. They had a big, big discussion with Rusty Wallace, his teammate, about whether to go two or four. Rusty kept saying, two don't work, two don't work, go four, go four. Jeremy made the call to go two. Rusty made the call to go four. We'll see how that all shakes out. And we'll all find out. So two tires for Stewart and Mayfield. And four tires for our hard luck guy at times here at Pocono, Rusty Wallace. Well, I can tell you that Earnhardt had a great pit stop there. Dale Earnhardt right now in the fourth spot. Everybody's going to sort out as we near the finish here at Pocono on a Monday.